helicopter density. This test helps in the determination of the relation between the water content and the dry density of soils using heavy compaction. It's a method of experimentally determining the optimal moisture content at which a given soil type will become most dense and achieve its maximum dry density. Test Procedure In case the soil sample has particles retaining on 4.75 mm sieve, about 33 kg of the representative soil is air dried, mixed, pulverized and sieved through 19 mm and 4.75 mm IS sieves. Diffraction retained on 19 mm IS sieve is not used in this test. The percent passing 19 mm sieve and retained on 4.75 mm IS sieve is noted and if this is less than 20%, this sample is used as such. In case the sample passes 4.75 mm sieve, then the dry pulverized sample is only used for this test. For compacting the soil in the mold every time, the required quantity will depend on the soil type, size of the mold, moisture content and amount of compaction. As a rough guide, for each test, 2.5 kg of soil may be taken for heavy compaction and then the required water is added in the case of 1000 cc mold. The estimated time of water to be added to the soil every time may be measured in a jet graduated in cc. The mold with base plate fitted in it is weighed. The soil water mixture is mixed thoroughly and divided in 5 equal parts. For heavy compaction, the wet soil mix is compacted in the mold in 5 layers, each layer being given 25 blows of 4.89 kg hammer when the 10 cm diameter mold is used. The blows should be uniformly distributed over the surface of each layer. Each layer of the compacted soil is scored with a spatula before placing the soil for the succeeding layer. The amount of soil used should be just sufficient to fill the mold leaving about 5 mm to be struck off on the top after compacting the final layer. The collar is removed and the compacted soil is leveled off to the top of the mold by means of the straight edge. The mold and the soil is then weighed, the soil is then ejected out of the mold and sample is taken in airtight container from the cut surface. The moisture content of this representative specimen is determined by finding the wet weight keeping in the oven at 105 to 110 degrees Celsius and finding the dry weight the next day. This procedure is repeated 5 to 6 times using fresh part of the soil specimen. Application This test is done for 4 layers namely embankment, subgrade, GSB, WMM. The acceptance criteria of this test for the different layers are Embankment, Proctor's Density, 1. MDD, 15.2 kN per meter cube for embankment up to 3 meter height. 2. MDD, 16 kN per meter cube for embankment exceeding 3 meter height. Subgrade. Proctor's density MDD 17.5 kN per meter cube. This brings us to the end of the step-by-step -step process of conducting the Proctor's density test.